For more now on the election, let's bring in Kenneth Katzman. He is an analyst at the Congressional Research Service and advises members of Congress on the Persian Gulf region. Ken, good to see you again. Good to see you. So voting has ended. The ballots are now closed. We are beginning to see the two leading candidates emerge here. One is a former nuclear envoy, that's Hassan Rouhani. The other is a former military commander, Mohammed Khalibaf. What should we be looking for in this election? Well, first of all, the, today was the first round. You have to get more than 50 percent. If no candidate gets more than 50 percent, it goes to a runoff next, uh, next Friday, one week from today. Uh, I think the turnout, it's always, always important to look at the turnout. Lower turnout means people are upset with the regimes, upset with the election. They don't come out and vote. Maybe they were dispirited by what happened in 2009. High turnout means many people maybe got excited for the candidacy of Mr. Rouhani, who you mentioned as, as perhaps a successor to Mr. Mousavi, who was perceived as deprived of victory in the 2009. Uh, so a high turnout, I think, favors Mr. Rouhani because that would show that people who want change came out. They were not d d dispirited. They were not disillusioned. They joined the process and, and voted for uh, change. Rouhani. And there has been a relatively high turnout. 70% of potential voters are believed to have gone to the ballot box. Uh, the fact that a moderate is in the lead, Hassan Rouhani, uh, does this tell us that the man, that the supreme leader and the more say, conservative theocratic elements in Iran, they're not getting their man in? Well, again, we have to see if Rouhani, if he is in the lead, if he gets more than 50 percent. If he wins in the first round and there's no runoff, yet, yes, that would be Rouhani is somebody that probably the supreme leader did not want to win. And he's going to have probably a contentious relationship with him like he did with Mr. Khatimi, who was a reformist in the 2000 time frame, 1997 to 2005. Uh, but if it goes to a runoff next week and Mr. Kalibov is it's him versus Mr. Rouhani, that gives the regime the opportunity to mobilize their people, get their people to the polls in big numbers. Remember, there were three or four people who were supporting the Supreme Leader in this round, and they all divided their vote. So in the second round, all the supporters of the Supreme Leader can vote just for Mr. Kalibov. So I, I think he might have an advantage. And, you know, we've got a big turnout here. Uh, obviously, people got excited about this election, some of them perhaps just before uh, voting started. And what were the main issues in the election that would have excited them? I mean, is it the fact that Iran has um, a poor relationship with the United States? They want to see that improve. Or is it the fact that the economy is in a mess? Well, all of that. Uh, people who tended to vote for Mr. Rouhani were people who would want to see a better relationship with the United States, do not want to see Iran isolated, want to get out from under the sanctions. So e even people who are somewhat conservative, if they are suffering economically, they might have voted, uh, some of them might have voted for Mr. Rouhani. The people who are very religious oriented, believe in the Islamic Republic, believe that the United States is a sort of a, an evil force in the Middle East, they probably would go for uh, <clears throat> the people close to the Supreme Leader, like Mr. Kalibov. Okay, we've got a few seconds left, and if you could just tell us this very quickly. We understand that uh, Mr. Rouhani is at the Ministry of the Interior, and he's filing some kind of a complaint against the conduct of the election. That's what we're getting right now. Um, is there a danger that this could descend into the kind of dispute that we had in the 2009 election and those street demonstrations which turned very violent? Very easily. It could easily get that way if there's a perception, and particularly if it goes to a second round, right. and there's a perception of fraud that the regime fixed the election and committed fraud in the count or whatever, it could easily erupt again as it did last time. Okay, Kenneth Katzman, thanks for joining us. Thank you.